In today's episode, we head north to the city of Perth to get some things done with the Ute, and I introduce Christine to the wonders of AFL. Right, we are on a very stressful mission. We are now in Perth, and the registration for the vehicle is due a few days. Five days. The Five registration, days. because the car is registered in New South Wales, um, it has to get a safety check done, where everyone knows this. <laughs> I and don't. I looked up, um, you can get safety checks done out of New South Wales, but they have to be done at approved, you know, like registered um, inspection places. And there was one, it was, it was a bunch in Perth, but there was one that was right near our accommodation, so that worked out really well. And I booked it in and it failed. It failed because it's got a couple of tiny chips in the windscreen. And we're too heavy. And because, I don't know why, I don't know if everyone, every vehicle has to do this, but or whether it's just because it's a ute, and that's what utes have to do. Well, maybe it's because you're out of state. He need, well, I don't know, but he, the guy said, I need to know that the vehicle is under 2.6 tonne. And we are at 3.2 tonne. And also knows that- Which is under, under GVM. Yes, we, we are. So even at full weight, we are under GVM. She did have a GVM upgrade. Um, yeah, so it's probably realistically the GVM is probably three point five or six. But we are three point two, which is under the factory GVM. Okay. And that does not matter. He said it has to be the tar weight or some other weight, which is two point six five five. So we will show you footage right now of what our cabin looks like and I'm really grateful we've got a cabin for the weekend um, while we get the youth service as well. Oh it is just madness. This is our entire life in a cabin. This is what the government of WA wanted us to do in order to pass a safety inspection. Yes. It was 180 bucks for the safety inspection, and normally in Sydney I pay four, no 38 bucks <laughs> for the safety inspection. That's what we had to pay at the Waybridge right now. We got the ticket. We managed to offload 600 kilos yeah. in the Ute. Don't ask me how we did it, but we did it. We did it. Um, we've done that now. Now it's off to chase um, windshield repair. So. WA. Please. So pretty, but so many rules. Oh my god, <laughs> horrible. Busy creating things from the room because we passed the inspection. We managed to turn it around in under 24 hours. And while Ant's on the phone, <laughs> this looks bizarre. I'm repacking the ute so that we can just put all this drama behind us. Um, so yeah, another 600 kilos back in the ute solo. So, to quickly break it down, I pay $38 each year for a quick safety check in New South Wales. And for this year in Western Australia, I paid a grand total of... $698. WA is a beautiful place, but that was beyond ridiculous. We soothed our weary souls with a visit to a classic South African steakhouse and drowned our sorrows in Spurs pink sauce and onion rings. Ant then wanted to take me to see a game of Aussie rules and let's just say that we have very different concepts of the term football. We went into town to have a look around. Although it's pretty, Perth is very different to the other cities in Australia that we've been to. It's um, very quiet and not very unique. Everything is straight up closed and it's nine o'clock in the morning. On oh, Monday morning. <laughs> Western Australians don't work very hard. 
Close or what's on? Anyway, on to Rocknest Island. Someone finally got a helmet that fits him. More or less, yeah. We just did our bike hire and we are ready to get going for the day. And also following um, the road rules of having to wear a helmet while riding a bike on the road. What do you think of these absurd little animals? <laughs> it's my favourite, my favourite. Rodness is a beautiful little island with unexpectedly crystal clear water and sandy beaches so close to a city. And the quokkas really are the cutest and most endearing little creatures in Australia. I can't deal. <laughs> Look at his little face. They use their tail as a pillow. Come on, how cute. How was your day on Rottnest Island? It was magic. I finally met not only my favourite animal, but I would argue my spirit animal. Yeah, they're fantastic, ridiculous little creatures. The island itself, the island itself was um, really beautiful. Yeah, we'd definitely love to come back here and um, and stay overnight, a couple of nights probably. Um, because even the, the beaches are just breathtaking, there's beautiful clear water. The snorkeling would be unreal as well, so we're definitely going to bring our snorkeling gear. Yeah, we just weren't sure about um, the weather and the, temperature. the temperatures of everything. But I think it's actually, even now in May, mid-May, it'd be decently warm. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to come back to Rottnest. Um, we'll come for the snorkeling and stay for the quokkas. Yes, <laughs> that's just awesome. <laughs> the mini Christines. Next week we check out the city of Fremantle. Wow, Frio rocks. This is actually really beautiful. And head back to the southwest to find a place to live. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.